Hi everyone, we're here at the Red Cup Blast Furnace on the Teesworks site and today is a day I think that people will remember for a long, long time. Back in 2015 we saw the closure of the steelworks. More than 3,000 people lost the job, but we've managed over the last six years to come up with a plan for the future. We want to remediate this site, we want to move this site on so it creates tens of thousands of jobs for tomorrow. What we can't have is a site that is allowed to sit that is allowed to go stale. We need to make sure that it's creating jobs for local people. And behind me, you can see the start of the demolition of the blast furnace. That's a bittersweet moment for many, but hopefully it will instill hope in local people. The hope that we're getting on with the job at hand. We're gonna be creating huge numbers of jobs. We're gonna be bringing huge investment. And I want Teesside to be known for net zero in the same way that Silicon Valley is for IT and social media. It is quite historic being on site today and looking at the demolition that we've got, but it's about progress. And I know a lot of people will say, oh, we know we didn't want to do that, but we have to move forward. And in order to move forward, um, we've got to take these buildings down and we've got to get them prepared for the many, many companies that are coming in on, on site here. Uh, this is obviously a bittersweet moment for all of us in Redford and Cleveland. You know, the blast furnace, the boss plant, these have been things that are part of the skyline here uh, for all of our lifetimes. Uh, but now we can look to the future for the jobs that are going to come on this site. And over the last 170 years of this site, the skyline has changed as industry has changed. Industry is changing again, and we're going to have new net zero technology on this site, creating those jobs of the future. So as well as the blast furnace, the sinter plant, the coke ovens, the byproducts plant, we're also demolishing the boss plant. That's the structure behind me that has been on the skyline for decades across Teesside, Darlington and Hartlepool. And we've knocked down one of the chimneys today, the rest will be going in the coming weeks. And this will probably be the last thing on the skyline, which will be knocked over next June on top of all of the other demolitions that are going ahead. Because we need to make way for large parcels of land. We need to make large parcels of land that investors want to invest in so they can bring their money and they can create jobs for local people. Because that's ultimately what this is about. It's about putting money in people's pockets so they look after themselves and their families. It's about putting food on the table. And it's also about creating a sense of hope. Hope for the future, not just for yourself, but also for your children, your grandchildren and future generations that we can be proud of. In the same way that we were proud of our iron and steel making heritage, we need to be proud of the future. And I see that very much focused in net zero, clean, green manufacturing jobs and they'll be largely delivered on this site. So the future is very, very exciting but over the coming months there will be a pull at the heartstrings as we start to see the former steelworks coming down because we all know the role that this has played in our history. So here's to the future but here's also to celebrating our past.